Welcome to All I Mouth TV. My name is Jake's Animal. And in this class, we have a very fine challenge on this. But before we go into this class, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video in this channel. Because in this channel, we drop one sort of video every day. Okay? So let's dive into today's challenge without wasting of time. All right, let's take our solution. So we have here solution. Hmm, solution. We write down our equation, which says bracket AP two blocks root three close bracket to the power of X blocks bracket AP two minus root three close bracket to the power of X or equal to four. Okay, this is special. So what do we do here? From here, we can bring in another alphabet to represent the whole of dicks and dicks. In that regard, if I decide to say, let hmm, y, let's use y, equal to bracket open 2 plus root 3, close bracket to the power of x. Now, what we have in the second bracket here is carrying a minus. So we cannot say dx is equal to dx same expression here. How do we now bring dx into the picture of y? Okay. If I'm to continue with this, what if I decide to say from here, if I now have y to be, if I decide to multiply the numerator, because dx is all over every stable one, the numerator of this and the denominator by the dix expression we become 2 plus bracket root 3 close bracket to the power of times here we have 2 minus close bracket up to the power of this all over 2 minus root 3 close bracket all to the power of x. All right. So if we open up this bracket, dx will automatically give us something special. Or we can rewrite all this to the power of x because we have the power of x, we have the power of x, we have the power of x. So if you open dx, dx we end up giving us something like here we're going to give us 4 dx will give us minus 2 root 3 and dx will give us plus 2 root 3. Use this to time dx. This will give us minus um, root 9. Okay? All over 2 minus root 3 all to the power of x. Now if you look carefully, dx will go with dx. And the square root of 9 is 3 because it's a perfect square. So from this, let's proceed and see what this gives us. From this, this we end up giving us 4 minus 3 all over 2, 2 minus root 3 all to the power of x, which is automatically going to give us 1 all over 2 minus root 3 to the power of x. If we proceed from here, this is going to give us something special. Mind you, we are having y on this other side. So this will now give us y equal to 1 all over 2 minus root 3, which is the inverse, all to the power of x. If we are to look for the, uh, the value of 2 minus root 3, we cross multiply because this is all over 1. So automatically, dx, okay? Okay, so dx 
we give us here we have one all over y equal to bracket two minus root three into x so this expression which is in our second bracket is already here so we are having y equal to two plus root three all to the power of x and one all over y which is the inverse of y equal to two minus root three all to the power of s okay we can now go ahead and substitute so from here now say substituting 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 we have we now have from here we now have whenever we see the first expression we put y there so we now have y plus one all over y equal to four so the initial equation has been reduced to this format we clear out this denominator which is the y multiplied through by y this will now give us y squared plus one equal to four y collecting your light term this gives you y squared minus four y plus one equal to zero without being told this is a quadratic equation so let's solve quadratically using the quadratic formula because we cannot use factorization method here okay so when i say solve quadratically solve quadratically quadratically using the formula so what to use the formula to solve this and in this regard here our formula says minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac hmm, all over 2a how oh. okay we look at this from this expression what is our a here we have a equal to one which is the coefficient where and b equal to minus four and c equal to positive one if we put this into this equation this we give us here this is equal to minus b is minus four bracket minus four close bracket plus minus square root of minus four or squared minus four times a is one times c is one all over two times a one okay so from here let's proceed from here let's go forward the minus will multiply the minus to give us here plus four on this side the plus minus square root of here will give us 16 minus four all over two okay so let's go again before we continue if you are new to this channel as a reminder kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification button so that youtube will get you notified whenever we drop a wonderful video let's go back to our serving to the board so this automatically here we're going to have here four plus minus the square root of this we give us 12 okay all over 2. now if you look at 12 12 is not the perfect square but 12 can be expressed as your root 4 times 3 okay which is automatically root 4 times root 3 which is 2 root 3 so the whole of root 3 can be expressed in this format let's go ahead and put this into this expression so this will now give us 4 plus minus 2 root 3 all over 2 if you factor out 2 here this is going to give us here 2 bracket 2 plus minus root 3 close bracket all over 2 and you know what happens here 
two, we go with two. Here we are now left with, here we now have this to be two plus minus root three. So we are having two solutions from here now. What are the two solutions? Let's split the plus minus sign. This will now give us two plus root three or two minus root three. Okay. Recall, we said on the other side that let two plus root three be equal to y and one all over y equal to your two minus root three all to the power of x. So if we go back to that, we can now say recall, recall that y equal to bracket op2 plus root 3 to the power of x and 1 all over y is automatically you have your 2 minus root 3 to the power of x. Okay, so let's proceed from here. Okay, so if we proceed from here, this we give us something special. So when I take the first expression, which says y is equal to 2 plus root 3. So when I say, so if y is equal to 2 plus root 3, this is equal to our first expression, which say 2 um, plus root 3 all to the power of x. So now this and this, they are having the same base because this is also to the power of invisible 1. So the bases will take care of themselves, then we quit the power because there is a law that says that if you have x to the power of x to the power of 2 equal to x to the power of y, this and this we take care of the cell. So we're going to have here 2 equal to y. It is a law. Okay? So if we hook to this law, then our expression will now give us here 1 equal to s. Therefore, x equal to 1. This is the first value of x, the first possible value for x. Now we go to the second part when y is equal to bracket 2 minus root 3. What then will be the value of x? So from our first expression, where we solve for our y, we said the inverse of y equal to bracket 2 minus root 3 to the power of x. Recall? Okay, so let's put in our y in here. So we have here y, if we substitute bracket 2 minus root 3, which is this guy, we put it here, equal to bracket 2 minus root 3 all to the power of x. This all over invisible 1. If we find the inverse of this, according to the law of indices, which says you have a to the power of minus x, this is equal to 1 all over a to the power of x. If I rearrange that, this very expression here now, if I rearrange it, this will now give me bracket 2 minus root 3, close bracket, raised to minus 1, or equal to bracket up minus root 3, close bracket, dex. So the bases are now the same. So we can go ahead and strike out the bases. So dicks and dicks, we take care of the cells. So here we're not going to have here x equal to minus 1. And already we've already calculated for the first value of s to be positive 1. Okay, so therefore our x is equal to plus 1 and minus 1. So these are the two possible values. Okay, so if you've learned something special from this video, give it a thumbs up, okay? Or you have a better way, a better pattern of solving this. 
drop it in the comment section okay if you are new to this channel do not forget to subscribe okay because in this channel we have fun every day we drop at least a video every day and mathematics is fun to solve hence i said we have fun every day once again you welcome to online mathematics jakes is my name i love you and online mass tv loves you too thanks for your time bye for now